What's up, everybody? This is Battlefield Jam 97 here. I'm so sorry as all hell. It's been forever since I've done a video. Been extremely lazy. Um, trying to give content to all of you on YouTube. Plus the fact that I have school and playing video games that have distracted me quite a lot right, lately. But um, yeah, this whole September pickup video. It would have been a lot shorter because I only bought one retail game and it was on the 3DS. But in order to artificially like make the video long as hell, I included digital titles, including ones that I got for free through Games with Gold, PS Plus, to even some that I got for free from Club Nintendo. Yeah, I know, I'm getting really desperate with that. So first, I'll be talking about the digital games offhand going on PlayStation, and that would be Velocity 2X on the PS4, including Sports Friends on PS4. Clearly the highlights for PlayStation 4 owners who pay this much money for online play. I can't even remember exactly what they were, but they weren't something to hold you over for an entire month. <laughs> going from it. Um, the PS3 selection, um, Horde. It's fun at least, but not much fun. And PlayStation All-Stars Battle Royale on PS3 and PS Vita. <laughs> Do I even really have to say how much September sucked for PlayStation Plus owners? And um, for Vita owners, they had like um, Joe Danger and some other title that I couldn't remember. But overall, last month for PlayStation Plus owners, it really did suck balls. To go for the very least. So yeah, it was over with. Um, on the Xbox side, they had Super Time Force. And um, that Panzer Dragoon inspired game, Crimson Dragon. Which I already got in my download history. And I had to continue having like an Xbox Live Gold subscription. In order for having those games alongside the others. For me to, when I get an Xbox One. But on the 360 side, it was only one title. Because I already downloaded Halo Reach. Around 2011 in the beginning because I was really into my Halo phase when I got the 360 in late 2010 on my birth birthday Christmas. So the only title that was downloaded was Monaco, What's Yours is Mine. It was kind of unique. I mean, it didn't hold me over like for like two days or so, but overall it was a nice distraction. I played a little bit more of Dishonored, which was another free game, which was on August 2014 for Games with Gold. So yeah, that was over with. So on PlayStation and Xbox, they had like meh selection of free games that you paid like three months, an entire year, or one month of your subscription. So that was bollocks. But I put a lot more time into getting games on the th on the 3DS out of it, and these are like the download games that I had for the th 3DS. I was about to say 360, and one of them is um four titles. And that would be Dr. Mario Express, a DSi title. Puzzle League Express, um, the DSi title. Um, Mario Golf for the Game Boy Color. And finally, Piddle Bits Art Style Series, a uh, DSi title. So yeah, I put a lot more Club Nintendo coins to getting four, um, well actually three DSi titles in one Game Boy Color game because... You know, still a new, still recently new 3DS owner, and he needed some games to play, so why not? But yeah, with all that Club Nintendo coins that I used for those, and the other purchases I had in the past, I used it all up from a certain game that I got for, you know, the start of school year, which is really something you could do without, and that is Pokemon Y. Now, when I... You know, saw this title announced during um, Nintendo Direct for Pokemon Y and X. It was like, I wanted a 3DS, I wanted a 3DS, but you know, other games from other systems and me wasting money on fucking recess and stuff like that. I really didn't get the chance to get this title like last year, but you know, since I've now gotten a 3DS, which is like in the summer of this year, I now finally have a copy of Pokemon, but, you know, I got distracted and I'm finishing this game with, um, the Smash Brothers 3DS demo, and then, you know, <laughs> having another game which I'm gonna show next month for the October pickup video, which, of course, if you know or played with me on the 3DS online, you know I have that title. And it's a smashing good time. You know what I mean. But overall, um, Pokemon Y's um, box really looks nice. You got a nice design of this legendary Pokemon who does look like a Y shape. 
out of itself. And in the box, in the back of the box is like new Pokemon. Explore 3D battles, which I have to say right here, the 3D in this game is so fucking limited. Like, the only time 3D will actually be noticeable is within battles, but even then, they don't really pop up, pop up, pop out, like, in the screen. And it just makes, you know, not even worth wasting your batteries over for it. So that kind of disappointed me most about this game. Um, explore a majestic new region, which I gotta say is majestic for France. The next evolution in Pokemon with the Mega Evolution. New features, Pokemon, MA, and Super Training, which really does have a new feature to, you know, getting more closer to your Pokemon. I got a lot more closer to my Chaspan named Kong. And connect intensely with players all over the world, which, of course, yes, you it really is like the closest Pokemon game to ever connect to you on a portable system. And, um, I really love, like, in the back of the box, where would it be? I am not of it. I know it was here somewhere. It was something like that. Um, it was something like you need a basic reading level, which, of course, you need in order for a kind of text-based game like this. So, yeah, I know it's in the back of the box, but I want to get this video over with for me. So, like, in right over here, um, the GameStop receipt for the game itself. Um, the instruction... Let me just move all this stuff here. The pamphlet instruction manual for the game itself. Oh, God. It's fucking going for it. And, yeah, it really gives, like, a lot of advertisements for Pokemon Bank, um, the Pokedex, um, booklet itself. And it tells you the differences of Pokemon X and Y, which is a tradition within the Pokemon series. Pokemon X has, like, um, a different Mega Mewtwo and a Mega Charizard evolution, which is titled X, and three other Pokemon. And in Pokemon Y, my version is, like, three um, Pokemons that you would not get in X, and a different Mega evolution of Mega Mewtwo and Mega Charizard, which is Y. Which, to me, I kind of like make a Mewtwo and make a Charizard in the Y version, but that's just me. Oh yeah, and the po and the global link, which goes like for online and stuff like that, and it tells you the controls, um, the player search system, and stuff like that. So it's not really that much of a big instruction manual, it's not something to, you know, get a fuss over. And, um, yeah, Club Nintendo, I'm offering, which I'm not going to show, even though I already did it. And... The game card itself, you know, white card and has Pokemon Y 3DS on it. And yeah, that's basically it for this video. Um, a lot of free digital titles that were basically meant for PlayStation and Xbox owners in the month of September. And me getting like 3DSi titles in one Game Boy Color because I needed to crave my, my 3DS game time. Because that's literally what I've been doing ever since school playing 3DS titles and just using the internet or whatever on my other consoles. So yeah, I hope to God next month I'll give you like a bigger, better lineup of games to show for you. So yeah, next video um, later on today or tomorrow I'll show you like the items that I got that I paid and got for free in New York Comic Con, which is only one day at Thursday. So yeah, um, see you next video. Catch you guys later.